I'm, I'm just, uh, I love the county and I want to make sure we succeed. And thank you for the invitation. I really appreciate it. I saw our uh, gubernatorial candidate eyes look up. He goes, that's where we can get $80 million. <laughs> So, at this point, um, Senator Dan Duffy, come on up and let's uh, see what we got to hear about what the state's doing. That's easy. <laughs> I think you already know. You know, it's, it's an honor to be here today. When I was asked to, to come and speak tonight, I said absolutely because you are my peeps. We have a lot in common. I just got elected in January, and the reason I ran for office is because I'm a small business owner. So I grew up on the south side of Chicago, youngest of 11 kids. Um, out of the 11 kids in my family, seven of us started our own companies all doing different things. So about 16 years ago, I started a computer consulting company. Uh, you know, and over the years, just like you guys, all I was focused on was trying to create jobs and keep the company going. But you know, that old saying that when you run a business, if you're not involved in politics, then politics starts to run your business. So I was extremely frustrated that I felt that uh, you know the American dream was so difficult to achieve because the government was trying to keep down jobs by doing things like taxing us at every turn. And when the gross receipts tax plan came out from Gov Governor Bogoyevich, where you wanted to take 3% right off the top from every company, whether you made a profit or not, uh, no matter what happens, you wanted to take the money first, I said, this enough is enough. So uh, I reached out to an organization called the NFIB, which is a great organization, and if a lot of you don't know about it, you should think about joining that organization. The NFIB is called the National Federation of Independent Businesses. They have 600,000 small business owners in the United States that are part of that organization, which employs 7 million people. And so I got involved with them because they have lobbyists in all 50 state capitals, and I didn't have time as a business owner to be out lobbying legislators about issues but if you send a hundred dollar donation a year or a couple hundred bucks to the NFIB, they lobby for you, they keep you up to date on issues, and they, they think, keep things going and talk to legislators about what's important. So uh, I got more active than I wanted to, and then my wife, I think, wanted me to get involved with the NFIB, uh, and I became on the, got put on the NFIB's Illinois Board of Directors, and then I became chairman of the Lake and Cook County Ear Action Council for Independent Businesses. So from that, Senator Bill Peterson said he was going to retire after 25 years, and I got put in this spot. Because people said, you know what, we need someone who's not a career politician. We need a small business owner to go down there and represent us. And knowing that you guys are the future of the country, and knowing that everything depends on you, if we're going to get out of our economic downturn, then we need the government to keep their hands on our...